I truly, truly, I'm sick and tired of my life to being abused, to being manipulated, my, my heart to be twisted up and distorted, and my, my, my trust in everything that I embody and I stand for personally to be like abused and manipulated. And, you know, I create these videos for a reason. And I honestly, I honestly had like got to a point in my life where I feel like I completely given up on the world, you know, like I completely given up on helping other people and being there for other people. So I, I mean, I will help animals and nature, but as far as human beings, human beings are way too snaky, sketchy for me. They are the embodiment of deceit and betrayals and lies. And you know what they say? They say everyone lies, right? Not me. I'm just way too, I'm like way too direct. Like I'm way too brutally honest for other people. And somehow like they're intimidated by that energy. So with that being said, I don't need these people in my life. I truly don't. And if these people are not able to truly vibe with me, to accept me for who I am, they don't need me and I don't need them in my life. And I've got to a point where I'm absolutely done, like straight up, you know, I've got to, uh, I surpassed the point of being apathetic and numb emotionally and spiritually. Regardless of the situation, I am not, I, I, ref, I flatline refuse to help other people only with the consideration being that for the past couple of months, traveling through like going through my head space my my emotions and my feels i never really had anybody to really truly be there for me and that's truly disgusting you know of all these people that talk about of how much they appreciate me how much they adore me how much this or that it's a bunch of lip service it's a bunch of uh, a mouth a spoonful of bull bullshit you know and human beings are nothing but drama they are like I said, they're absolutely disgusting, vile, and venomous creatures. And more and more every day, I become a misanthropic. Like I've always, I've, I've been, I was born into this, into this planet, being a misanthropic, being a lone wolf. And then I had seen the light. I had studied and researched it and dabbled into it so much to the point where I had a, adapted it into my consciousness, my being. And now I'm just reverting backwards into my fucking teenage years, you know? And honestly, you know, I'm just sick and tired of my heart being manipulated and betrayed and distorted out of proportion. And I don't deserve that in my life. Like, I've, I've had a lot of fuck-ups in my life, but I still deserve happiness and I still deserve a life to be, you know, respected and, you know, to share a, a relationship with those around me that truly vibe, that actually understand and care for me, you know, personally. And honestly, if these videos, if they help other people, they they do. If, they, if not, then not like I, I, I just figured whoever listens, listens. And honestly, that's what I believe in. My intention used to be before to help, you know, inspire to like help other people, but uh, I've become truly exhausted in my resources emotionally and spiritually for that after a while. Like at least, you know, with every tragedy in my life, like every heartache, it's leading me down, downward and deeper into the rabbit hole of this path where, you know, like anymore, like, you know, my coworkers, my friends, everybody, my my so-called friends, okay, let's just put that in air quotations. They sit there and wonder and figure, like, why I become a douchebag, why I become such a bad bitch, you know, why I started to ghost other people, like, not just virtually, but physically, in a, in a real-world perspective, you know. Ghosting people in a way where, you know, I ignore them out of existence. I don't even say hello. I don't even say a simple gesture, a gesture of my kindness or generosity. I don't even acknowledge their existences, you know. 
And, and people think I'm joking. People think I'm fucking joking. I'm, I'm not. You know, I started like when I said I start blocking people and deleting people and getting rid of people out, up out of my, my life, my existence for good. You put me second place, I'm going to put you last. You know, like I made that video a couple weeks ago and I absolutely fucking meant it. I meant absolute every word of it. And words cast spells. So, I mean, with that said, you know, as a lodge, as a brother of the lodge, my my oath of promise is mine to keep forever. When I say I'm going to do something, I fulfill it to the to I travel to the edge of the world to ensure that my promises are kept and my promises are made. And you know, in this state in particular, I don't try to meet people anymore. You know, I, I'm just, people are just way too toxic and venomous for my taste. And they see me as kryptonite to them, as a weakness to them because I'm someone authentic and genuine, brutally honest. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I don't take no bullshit from nobody. And especially I don't take no prisoners as far as I don't hold back my punches. I tell people what it is. I am brutally honest. I just aim right for the jugular and I don't give a shit. And if that offends them, that offends them. I'm not here to be popular. I'm not here to be liked, you know. Accept me for me or not, I honestly don't care. And I'm watching. And I'm listening. I'm completely observing who decides to truly stay in my life or not and who fucks with me or not. So with that being said, you know, I all I've ever given to other people was a command of respect and professionalism and it's beckoning on me I mean it's it's surreal to me that these people don't want to ever return to favor so with that being said I'm going to be disrespectful I'm going to be a complete asshole a fucking douchebag I'm going to be that bad bitch alright I'm going to be that bad bitch